Hi, my name is Thorsten Gerke and I'm the marketing manager for the Saber products here at Synopsys. In this video, I want to provide you with a quick overview and hands-on quick start introduction to Saber RD, a powerful integrated environment for multi-domain and power electronics modeling and simulation. Additional information about our products is posted on our website synopsis.com slash Saber. And you can find links to other useful material at the end of this video clip. The content of this video is split into four major parts. In the first section, I will give you a quick overview of Saber RD's capabilities and major product features. The second part will demonstrate how to perform a simulation in Saber RD, along with a hands on introduction on adding models and modifying schematics. As the purpose of simulation is to generate data and enable analysis of your virtual prototype before hardware is built, we will take a look at the capabilities to analyze and present simulation results. The last part of this video will introduce a few of the advanced modeling and simulation capabilities of Saber RD, including worst case analysis, as well as modeling tools, including sophisticated IGBT modeling. Now we will start with a short introduction and overview of the Saber RD product. Saber RD is a solution for modeling and simulating power electronics and multi-domain systems. Saber RD enables developers to build virtual prototypes for testing and optimizing the system implementation before it is built in hardware. The application of simulation by means of virtual prototypes allows engineers to validate the robustness and quality of their system or component implementation. Performance and functional problems can be uncovered early in the development phase and thus be fixed before the product is built. This helps to increase product quality as well as customer satisfaction. In addition, it reduces the risk of expensive warranty recalls or increased costs in engineering caused by cost-intensive iterations commonly encountered when only traditional hardware tests are performed. Although Saber RD is used to solve complex and sophisticated engineering problems, it is designed to be easy to use and intuitive. The workflow-based use model of Saber RD makes it easy for new users to adopt simulation-based dev development techniques. This low barrier of adoption ensures a quick learning curve for simulation novices. Yet, its powerful capabilities for modeling and simulation analysis support the flexibility the simulation experts require to solve a variety of difficult engineering problems. The freely available student edition of Saber RD can be downloaded from the Synopsys website for usage in university curriculum non-commercial research work or to evaluate the product before purchasing. Saber RD is a fully integrated solution encompassing circuit and system design through an intuitive schematic environment and many quick start examples. Modeling is one of Saber RD's key strengths and includes an extensive offering of model libraries, modeling tools and support for standard modeling languages including VHDLMS and MAST. Other strengths of Saber RD include its set of simulation analysis capabilities, a robust and high performance simulation engine that supports both analog and digital simulation in a single tool. Further, Saber RD's powerful features for analyzing simulation results and automating post processing tasks results in additional time saving and helps to prevent manual errors. A web-based online support system is integrated as well. Access to the Sabre Users Forum benefits student version users without access to Synopsys technical support by introducing them to a community of experienced Sabre RD users. A major strength of Sabre RD over other simulation solutions for power electronics and multi-domain applications is its comprehensive set of model libraries. Saber RD's model libraries include over 30,000 models and cover a wide range of engineering domains and applications. Models range from basic circuit elements like resistors and power transistors to complete integrated circuits and electrical machines. 
SaberRD's model library offers two types of models. Firstly, a library of fully characterized electrical and electronic components can be used off the shelf and included in any design without additional characterization. Another library of generic multi-domain models allowing users to insert parts into their design and then adjust the physical properties of the model to represent specific device behavior. SaberRD provides a broad range of analysis to serve the needs of developers of power electronics and multi-domain systems to explore and understand the performance and robustness of their designs. The available types of simulation analysis range from steady state, transient and frequency response or parameter variations up to sophisticated methods for analyzing the statistical behavior or identifying worst case scenarios. Since time to market pressures are common for most companies and project deadlines are often very tight, SaberRD supports grid computing technologies and multiprocessor support to boost simulation performance and to increase project throughput. After this quick introduction, I will now demonstrate how easy it is to simulate power electronics designs in SaberRD and how you can quickly generate results and begin analyzing the performance of your design. The system that I want to model and simulate is this AC-DC power converter that includes an AC source, a voltage rectifier, a DC-DC buck converter, a time-dependent load, as well as a control loop logic that drives a power switch. I will simulate the transient behavior of this system in order to demonstrate how the output voltage behaves over time. Here is the system built up in Saber RD. I want to demonstrate how easy it is to create a schematic in Saber RD. I need to add two components to this schematic to make this power converter system complete the resistor and capacitor of the buck converter component. I can find the required parts in SaberRD's parts gallery. I can choose between two different views. If I need to browse through the model libraries to search for a needed model, I can choose to list either the generic template library containing the model that I can characterize myself or I can view the component library, which includes the fully characterized parts. However, I can always use a direct search if I enter the name of the part that I'm looking for. I select the needed model from the paths gallery and insert it in my schematic. I can now characterize the physical properties of this instance by inserting information that is available from a supplier's component datasheet, for example. When I finished the creation of my schematic, I can now start simulating my power converter model by going to the Simulate tab. Launching a simulation in SaberRD is easy. I just select the desired analysis from the pull-down menu, in this case, Transient Analysis, and then I specify the time that I want to simulate. I also have the option to specify the initial time step or other advanced simulation settings. After starting the simulation run, I can check the progress of my simulation in the window below. Since we have demonstrated how to simulate a design, I will now show you how to view and analyze simulation results in SaberRD. After a simulation has completed, simulation results are made available in a waveform plot file. The signal is editor allows me to browse for analog or digital signals of my design and I just select the signal that you want to view from the signal list. I can also adjust the view for each signal that is shown in the plot window. For example, for digital signals, I can change the vertical size of the window to enlarge the view. If I need to analyze particular regions of my signal, I simply draw a box to zoom into the desired region. In order to analyze the performance of my design implementation, I need to get an overview of the performance metric. 
Measuring, for instance, the overshoot of the DC output signal of my power converter design is very easy. The integrated measurement toolkit of SaberRD's post-processing environment offers a wide range of predefined measurements for different types of analysis. Aside from predefined measurements, SaberRD provides a very flexible way to intuitively create customized measurements by using an integrated calculator tool. For instance, calculating the difference between the DC output voltage and the output voltage of the rectifier can be achieved using a few mouse clicks. If I need to present my simulation results and plan in a PowerPoint presentation, for example, I can easily export the data. SaberRD supports a wide range of different image types. It is often needed to go beyond basic types of analysis, like a simple transient analysis. This is often driven by the requirement to get a detailed understanding of the quality of the system. SaberRD supports very capable advanced analysis and modeling solutions that precisely address this requirement. A powerful advanced capability of SaberRD is the worst case analysis tool. This tool allows the designer to determine conditions that result in worst case behavior of their system implementation. I will now go back to the AC-DC power converter and take a deeper look at this from a worst case perspective. Each implementation contains component tolerances which may be caused, for example, by environmental conditions or manufacturing effects. This means each component in this power converter system includes parameter tolerances that impact the behavior of this component and thus the behavior of the entire power converter system. As far as the DC output voltage is concerned, this quantity will deviate due to the component tolerances somewhere around the nominal operating conditions. This raises two important questions. How large is the upper and lower deviation from the nominal behavior? And secondly, does the worst case behavior violate the upper or lower limit defined in my power converter specification? These questions can usually not be handled by simply assuming the worst case to be at the extremes of the parameter space. At this point, it is unknown where the worst case really resides. Worst case analysis helps to figure it out. The worst case analysis tool shows me the parameters that are taken into account for the computation of the worst case. These are the parameters which have been specified along with tolerance information in the definition of the power converter design. For instance, a capacitor with a certain nominal capacitance as well as an upper and lower limit for the capacitance value. With each worst case analysis, I define a test sequence containing the simulation analysis as well as the performance metrics. For this particular power converter, the steady state of the DC out signal is the metric that we want to analyze in terms of its worst case behavior. After starting the analysis, the worst case analysis tool starts to search through the parameter space of my design and I can see that the value for the steady state of DC out goes up continuously. This means a targeted search towards the upper worst case value for the steady state of DC out is being performed. After a number of iterations, the upper worst case value has been reached since the steady state of DC out no longer changes. I can now begin exploring the other worst case limits. After changing the objective of my search criterion and starting the worst case analysis tool again, I can observe that the tool computes a targeted search towards the lower worst case limit of the steady state of DC out. After some iteration steps, the worst case analysis has also reached the lower worst case limit. I have now determined very easily the worst case behavior and boundaries of the DC out signal for this particular power converter. And I can now evaluate the results against the performance metrics of my design specification. Models are a critical element for simulating any design application. 
In addition to the comprehensive modeling libraries, SaberRD also supports an intuitive and automated model creation process through an array of modeling tools. These modeling tools equip users with the ability to create their own models without writing any code with modeling languages. The general approach with these tools is to specify datasheet information obtained, for instance, from the component supplier. The modeling tools then automatically create and characterize a component model from this component data. SaberRD offers a wide range of modeling tools covering different applications and devices. For power electronics applications, tools for IGBTs, power MOSFETs, transformers, inductors, thermal impedance networks and electrical machines are available to quickly generate the models required. General purpose modeling tools are also available for state machine modeling, table lookup based modeling and various other modeling approaches. IGBTs have become very important in power electronics applications and they are found in many different implementations. However, modeling and characterizing IGBT components can be a difficult and challenging task. Within SaberRD, the intuitive IGBT modeling tool simplifies the creation of IGBT component models by using the information provided in publicly available data sheets. Using a tool is very easy. For example, the DC relationship between collector emitter voltage and current is just one of the physical properties that can be quickly characterized using the IGBT tool. Simply digitize the datasheet information using an integrated scanner application and feed this information into the IGBT tool. The integrated optimization algorithm takes care of characterizing the model behavior according to the datasheet. The result is a characterized IGBT component that is now available to your simulation. If modeling requirements go beyond pure characterization, only SaberRD supports the development of customized models using an intuitive graphical approach. State AMS is SaberRD's generic modeling solution that uses a state machine based approach for modeling complex multi domain behaviors. However, Unlike other state machine modeling tools, state AMS supports both analog and digital modeling techniques. This offers a very flexible method for modeling any sort of physical component or control algorithm for control system purposes. Using the tool does not require experience with modeling languages since it places the focus on describing the behavior of the model with mathematical equations and state diagrams. The tool then generates the model code automatically for immediate use within SaberRD. Within State AMS, the state machine is defined that describes the physical component or algorithm to be modeled. For example, the state describes the behavior for particular status of your physical component and permits the use of differential or algebraic equations to model the physical behavior in conjunction with digital events. In order to build up models that can operate in different states, transitions can be inserted, allowing the model to move from one behavioral state to another, depending on a particular condition defined by the user. Once the model is created, the tool automatically generates the code. State MS produces models written in VHDLMS and OpenMAST. I have just given a short overview of SaberRD and its most important features in the context of power electronics and multi-domain simulation. The examples chosen for this video demonstrate that SaberRD is highly intuitive to use and easy to learn. The comprehensive model libraries and the extensive set of modeling tools allow users to get started very quickly by allowing them to find the models they need to simulate their designs. We also have a student and demo version of SaberRD that is available to download free of charge from the Synopsys website. Use this link or simply enter the SaberRD student edition in your internet search engine. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for your interest in SaberRD.